Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm quickly going to share with you my lookbook that I have planned for um, Karva Chot this year. I've already planned what I'm going to wear this year um, during the day and during the night. And I'm going to share the same with you. So if you're interested, keep watching. And if you're new here, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And now let's get started. So I have been keeping Karva Chot fast ever since I got married. And I really enjoy um, you know, the day. Uh, it's always fun to dress up uh, like a bride on Karva Chaut day. In fact, I think that's the only day in the year when we all uh, go all out um, to get ready and dress up like a new bride and why not? I mean, I really enjoy the whole process because otherwise we don't really put on all of you know those heavy outfits and makeup and everything i don't do that very often but i definitely do that on garva chaut i look forward to doing that on uh, this one specific day and of course i mean the um, fasting bit and everything it's all very nice but uh, the one thing that i look forward to the most is dressing up and feeling like a new bride on the whole day so for um, for the daytime and you know for sargi time um, I wear any suit that I have in my collection anything really uh, goes because we just get up in the morning and um, change into something ethnic with a dupatta and just eat your food and then go back to sleep <laughs> that's what I do but then uh, when I get up like when I get up get up in the morning at around 7 6 37 I take a shower change into clothes that I'm going to wear for the the rest of the day and uh, that's where I like to wear a nice um, cotton suit which is comfortable and which I can wear the whole day which is not heavy and you know I like being active throughout the day I don't really like being lazy because that keeps the mind away from food and water and all of those things so I like being active so for that um, I like to wear something which is you know like a cotton suit not too heavy does not have too many linings and this year I'm wearing I'm going to wear this suit um, that I bought this um, block printed suit with some gota patti detailing on the sleeves and um, you know on the neck line and there's also some work on the sides and it has this red dupatta red stole actually it's not a full width dupatta it is a stole and this also has all of the gota patti detailing and it's really nice and comfortable to wear and i think i'll be very very comfortable wearing this throughout the day for those of us who are working you need to go to work also not everybody gets a leave on karva Chauth. and i remember my mom always used to um, go to work on Karva Chaut day to stay distracted from food and water now she is retired so I mean this year she's going to be at home but otherwise I've always seen her going to work but personally for me I like being active throughout the day and for that something like this is the perfect thing to wear uh, um, just some you know suhag things to wear uh, with my outfit my mangal sutra sindur a bindi if I want to and all the you know akara and everything uh, just to complete the look for the day but I like to keep it simple and I think this outfit is just completely perfect for that mustard and red it has mustard pants which are very comfortable i really like the quality of this and i got it from amazon and on a very good budget i think i'm going to repeat this outfit a lot but uh, i'm going to leave the links and the names and everything in the description box down below in case you're interested in checking this out and i think you should the next thing that i have is my favorite thing a sari this is a patola sari that i've picked up this time and it is one amazing sari it has this is the pallu and uh, the whole sari looks like this it has this patola weaving throughout the sari and it's a very comfortable fabric to wear this is the blouse that comes with the sari. It has this border. I'm yet to get it stitched, but um, you know, a lot of times I like to mix and match uh, blouses with my saris, and I've done the same for this one. I already have a green blouse in my collection, so I worn the sari with that, and I think it looks really nice. Um, paired it with uh, a handful of glass bangles and karas, and um, 
you know the usual this i have also worn a piece of uh, set from uh, zaveri pearls which also i'm going to leave in the description box down below don't forget to check out the links down below so but this is the sari and oh my god i just love it this is how it falls it's a nice red sari with golden zari border and patola weaving all throughout the sari uh, the sari has colors like this there's some green here there is some um, like creamish white over here but that's part like that's how you uh, it's it's a very normal thing for a patola sari to have colors like this and it has some brownish maroon so you can also wear it with a lot of blouses other blouses that you may have in your collection and i'll show you the border which is such a beauty one second this is the border which come so this is the border which uh, comes at the bottom of the sari like where your pleats fall so it is a throughout border all throughout the sari and it has has this elephant and bird motif so these are the patola motifs uh, classic patola motifs that you get in the sari and it's a very comfortable sari to wear and i think i'm going to definitely and this is what i have planned for my karwa chauth uh, night like the evening time when the moon comes out and it is time to break your fast talking about the jewelry that i'm wearing in this video the bangles that i'm wearing are these ones i've shown them to you guys in a lot of um, previous videos these are classic rajasthani bangles and you know they have this scallop design and this is what they look like red and green in color and they go perfectly well with my sari and my outfit otherwise this is what it looks like when you wear them and the neck piece that i'm wearing with the sari in the stylized video is this one this is what the neck piece looks like and it has these red and green um, stone detailing and this small floral details and hanging pearls here very very pretty set and it will go with a lot of outfits and it comes with these earrings they have these um, the similar pattern as the necklace red and green stones and pearl detailing really really pretty set this is what the earrings this is how big the earrings are and this is the necklace it covers your neckline all throughout so those were the two outfits that i planned for my karwa chauth day i am thinking i'm going to vlog my day this time and share it with you guys um, all of the products that i've shown to you in this video are going to be in the description box down below don't forget to check it out and that's about it i hope you guys have fun on karwa chauth and you know follow it with all your heart and just have a blessed married life ahead i hope you guys enjoyed this video and found this helpful if you did give it a big thumbs up do subscribe to my channel for more and i'm going to see you guys in the next one bye